Happy Sabbath. Uh, so today's mission report is about a witness of uh, uh, a woman named as uh, Sukamaya. So um, she resides in Nepal. So um, when she was at the age of 16, uh, she got married and she bore a son named as Shyam. Uh, Sham, sorry. Uh, but then when uh, Sham was eight months old, he fell ill and uh, with diarrhea. So Sukamaya, she asked her husband to call Shaman for help. So basically in Nepal, um, someone who gets sick uh, in that town, they call Shaman. And since they were residing in a remote mountain uh, town, they had no doctors or hospital near their place. So they had to call this person called Sham, uh, Shaman and ask about uh, what exactly happened to uh, her son. So uh, when they reached, when this couple reached um, that person, Shaman, he said that the evil spirit was um, angry on them and they had to sacrifice a pig to make it happy. Uh, so since it was a very short time for them to uh, sacrifice a pig, uh, so they decided, uh, they were talking to this uh, Shaman. Meanwhile, the baby um, died on her lap. Uh, so this shocked uh, Sukamaya and she fainted and she remained unconscious for three days and when she woke up uh, she refused to eat or drink uh, she didn't want to live anymore uh, but her neighbors and her husband uh, started encouraging her telling that she might have an other son so after um, a year later Sukamaya gave birth to a daughter so she named the uh, the daughter as uh, Shaya, uh, Sham as well um, she was happy, she had a reason to live, uh, she lived for her daughter. Meanwhile, um, her husband started uh, being an alcoholism, he started consuming alcoholism, uh, alcohol, uh, yeah, alcoholism and then um, uh, the family fell into uh, financial problems because of his drinking. And then, uh, but uh, Sukamaya, she started uh, watching her uh, daughter grow up and at the age of 20, she made her marry. Uh, she got married uh, to a distant relative uh, who lived in the same town. So what happened is, um, when she was pregnant with the first child, uh, she needed an urgent medical um, uh, medical assistant. Uh, since the town didn't have any doctor or hospital, the town people started um, uh, taking her to the next town which had a road uh, in since that was a remote place they didn't have any road so they didn't uh, call any ambulance so she, uh, they rushed to the next town and uh, meanwhile on the way to uh, hospital uh, she also died so uh, this death dealt a very severe bowl on um, um, Sukamaya and uh, she also started uh, consuming alcohol with her husband for several days uh, it seemed like the death and darkness were always surrounding them and the couple were uh, wept uncontrollably at the uh, her daughter's funeral and also uh, in the funeral with the well wishes there was one seventh day adventist pastor who heard about uh, their uh, this couple's two children and he started offering them hope so he opened his bible to uh, read the scriptures to um, John chapter 3 was uh, 16 uh, so this Bible was puzzled uh, Sukamaya and uh, she couldn't understand it so she wondered how could somebody never die by believing in Jesus so seeing this confusion the pastor uh, turned uh, his Bible to Luke chapter 8 verse 52 which read like do not weep she is not dead but sleeping so Sukamaya, hearing these words, she started, uh, she felt comfort and uh, she wanted to know more about this. So after, uh, after some days of funeral, uh, she asked pastor to explain these Bible verses. So pastor gave, start, began to give these Bible verses to her. In one of those Bible, uh, Bible uh, studies, uh, pastor asked her if she wanted to see her children um, in Jesus' second coming. So Sukamaya was very happy and she... Uh, um, 
was very excited uh, so she completely gave her heart to jesus today sukamaya is a faithful adventist uh, she tried to share her hope with her husband but he refused to listen uh, due to his alcoholism he was led to a premature death and also uh, sukamaya now lives uh, at home alone but she knows that she is really not alone she's uh, she says that she is with jesus uh she is happy because she believes that jesus will come and resurrect her son and daughter one day so one of the biggest reason that she converted as a christian is that she can, she has a hope that she will see her uh, children she says that she is waiting for that day uh so the t- title of today's mission report is also waiting for that day so uh, yeah uh part of this uh, quarter 13th sabbath sabbath offering it will be uh, going to uh, help to establish a school uh, where children can learn more about sukamaya's hope in nepal and she's thanking us for this uh, 13th sabbath um, offering thank you <laughs> 